Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the new continuous EDA tracking on your Fitbit Sense 2. So you'll notice when you swipe from your clock face to the left, you'll see eventually this little body responses tile. It says this feature can be turned on in your Fitbit mobile app. So I'll go ahead here and tap on open and here I need to tap on this little notification. And it takes me to the stress management portion of the Fitbit app. And it says, actually I'm curious real quick, if I say done, I think if this doesn't work for you, I just wanna tap on stress management and we'll get a little intro to stress here. And we can tap next and we can tap next and here you can actually go through the same thing it looks like. So it says identify body responses. Body responses can let you know when changes in your heart rate, skin temperature, or micro sweat levels show signs of possible stress. So it looks like these body responses, it is using heart rate changes, skin temperature changes, and then the EDA sensor. So it says turn on notifications to reflect on body responses in the moment. So once it identifies you have a body response, then it will give you a little notification on your watch here, and then you can respond to how you're feeling in the moment. So it says use of this feature will affect your device's battery. Turning off this feature will only turn off the CEDA sensor and will not affect other data collected by your device. So I will go ahead and turn this feature on and then notifications, get notified if higher confidence body responses are identified. So it looks like it might record some that are not higher confidence, but only notify you for higher confidence ones. I'm not sure, I guess we'll find out after I use this feature, but to set it up, if you do want to get these notifications, you can enable this. If you don't want to receive the notifications, but you still want to have the responses logged, it looks like that is an option. You would just turn on the body responses and turn off the notifications. And if you don't want the CDE sensor to be activated at all, you can just keep this turned off. But for now, I'm going to enable both to test this feature out because you can change these settings at any time. So I'll go ahead and tap next. And here it says, take time to reflect when a body response is identified. Logging your mood is a quick way to pause, track, and reflect on how you feel in the present moment. So it looks like you will be asked to log your mood when it gives this notification. So I'll go ahead and tap next. And it says, see your progress. At the end of the week, you'll see your top moods and the body responses identified. You'll also see trends and behaviors that can help manage stress like sleep and exercise. Each week you can pick one to focus on and start tracking what works best for you. And this is if you want to get a reminder when your weekly summary is available, you can enable this. So I will go ahead for now and enable this. I'm sure you can turn this off in the future if you want to. You can also skip if you don't wanna log your first mood right now. So I'll go ahead and tap to log my first mood. And it says, try to reflect on what may be causing your mood. Excited, happy, content, calm, sad, worried, frustrated, stressed. I guess I will say that I am content at the moment. So I'll say save. And so here's the first look at this uh, body response feature here on the Sense 2. So right now we have today, total duration, then we have moods and body responses. And if we swipe, we can also see the last two hours. So this is just when I initially set it up. I'll do a more full featured review after I've had some of these body responses and I'll see if this uh, graph changes at all. And it says what to expect as body responses are identified. You'll see when they occur and how long they last. Make sure to log your mood so you can track how you were feeling at the time. So I'll go ahead and click out of that for now. So I don't have a stress score available yet because this is a new account that I've set up for my Sense2, so I don't have any other Fitbit data interacting with the Sense2's data. 
haven't done any mindfulness yet either. And here there are some recommended workouts. That might only be if you have premium. I haven't enabled premium yet. And this week, um, it's just showing that today I do have one response. So I'll maybe click here and it just shows some of my logs. So you can log your mood manually over here. And I'm curious, yeah, so we go back to the stress management. It looks like that is now the main uh, part of the page. So if you wanna see your stress score, you have to tap into that here, which again, I don't have anything right now. And mindfulness, you now have to tap as well, so. Let's see if there's anything different on the app tile now here. So I'll swipe over. And yeah, it looks like, okay, so now it has updated. It says there are zero minutes worth of body responses today, no data yet. And then you can check in, let's see what that does. So that just allows you to do an EDA scan which I already have a video for, for the Fitbit Sense. You could do a relaxed guided breathing session. You can reflect on how you're feeling. You can start a walk and you can learn more. So just make sure you do set that up in the app if you want to receive those notifications and or just have the data logged. You will have to set it up and enable it in order to get this feature. All right, so I just got my very first body response notification. So it showed up as a stress management notification and it says, take a moment to check in based on changes your Fitbit device identified at 4.22 p.m. So as you can see on the top here, it is about 4.41 p.m. right now. And based on the time it took me to get set up making this video, it was probably about 15 minutes after 4.22 that I got this notification so it doesn't happen right away so that's one thing to notice and so now it's asking how are you feeling so i have the options of stressed frustrated worried sad calm content happy excited and i can tap to learn more or i can tap clear if i don't want to give a response i think i was a little bit uh i guess i would call it stressed I was editing a video that I wanna get out later today, so I'll go ahead and tap on stressed. So it says, check mark, saved to the Fitbit app. And now it says, reflect on why you feel stressed. Self-reflection can help manage stress. These mindfulness activities help you build that skill. So it is basically prompting me to do an EDA scan to get a few minutes of calm. I could do a guided breathing session or even take a short walk. Well, if you're on a deadline, you can't really, I guess you could do a quick guided breathing session. So this is an example of the prompt that you get. So if you want to take action on one of these, you can tap it. You can also just go to the bottom and say done. And now I'm curious if I go to my Fitbit app, I might need to refresh. And sync is complete. All right, so here we go. So it now says nine minutes. So if I tap on this, it now says today, total duration, nine minutes. It has now logged my stressed mood. And now there's a very faint little line here that is showing I had a body response. So let's see if I, yeah, so if I swipe to see, I guess the last two hours, then you can get an idea here of the body responses in the last two hours. So I don't think there's any other uh, interactive functionality there. And, and if I go here, it kind of gives a history. So it says, today, I'll tap here. And it says, I mentioned feeling stressed. So it did log that between 4.22 to 4.31. Oops. So it looks like it detected it at 4.22 and it 
thought it lasted for nine minutes. So it probably gave me that response maybe within five minutes, I'll say. So I guess that is relatively quick. I'm not sure how this data is exactly useful to me. I guess over time I can try to make trends from whether I, you know, exercised or ate well or if that helped me with my stress during meeting deadlines or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, possibly it could help at some point. So this is just uh, reporting to you what that first body response notification looked like and what the data is logged like. And you might be curious how this looks on the watch itself. So I've actually reordered my tiles so that if I swipe from left to right, I get to see the body response tile. And here you'll see that you can quickly do a check-in and you can also see at a glance your stats for today in the last two hours. So today it has shown that I have had 12 minutes total of body responses. And this is actually the second page. If I tap, you'll see that little dot went from the bottom to the top. I'll show you that again. And this is now showing the last two hours. So in the last two hours, I haven't had any minutes of body response. And then you can tap to see your responses for today. And one other thing I need to mention is in case you decide you don't like this feature, the way to disable it is you have to get to your, your on your Fitbit app on the Today tab, you need to find this stress section which has this icon and then tap on it. And then up here in the right hand corner, there's a little settings cog, at least on iPhone. And you can tap on here. And then here we have the body response, disable or enable notifications and weekly summary reminders. You can even, in addition to turning all of these off, you can also tap here to withdraw your consent, which says once you sync your device, your Fitbit data will no longer be used to calculate your stress management score or identify body responses. Withdrawing consent will also disable the CEDA sensor on your device. This consent withdrawal does not delete your past data. So you can also tap here to learn more about how Fitbit identifies body responses. It basically just takes you to a blog posts. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Sense 2 videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.